Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about placenta leaks and its clinical significance. This is a scan image of a 26 year old RH negative mother taken at 22 weeks of gestation. And in this scan image, the position of the placenta was posterior. And this arrow mark denotes the enlarged vascular hypoechoic areas within the placenta, which denotes placenta leaks. Placenta lakes are nothing but the enlarged vascular spaces in the placenta filled with maternal blood. These spaces are also called as intervillous spaces because they are found between the placental villi, the finger-like projections of the placenta that contains the fetal blood vessels. This blood-filled placenta lakes appears hypoechoic on ultrasound because they do not reflect sound waves back to the ultrasound machine. The placental villi floats in the intervillous spaces and absorbs oxygen and nutrients from the maternal blood. The reported incidence of placental lakes was 20% and this placental lakes can be seen within the placenta or on the fetal surface of the placenta bulging into the amniotic cavity. Slow swelling of the blood flow may be seen within the spaces and the shape of the spaces also tends to change with the uterine contractions. These features may help to distinguish a placental lakes from a thrombus. Now coming to the clinical significance of placenta lakes. In most of the cases, placenta lakes are considered to be a normal finding. However, the presence of multiple placenta lakes in early weeks of pregnancy have been associated with fetal growth restriction. This because of the impact nutrient and oxygen supplied to the fetus leads to fetal hypoxia as well as fetal acidosis. In a patient with placenta previa and previous uterine surgery, the presence of multiple placenta leaks should raise a suspicion for placenta accreta or percreta. This because of the abnormal adherence of the villi to the myometrium leading to the increased risk for postpartum bleeding. The association of multiple placenta leaks with the thickened placenta suggests gestational tropoplastic disease or placental mesenchymal dysplasia. In placental mesenchymal dysplasia, there may be elevated levels of maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. Now coming to the differential diagnosis, which includes molar pregnancy, chorioangioma, subchorionic hematoma and spontaneous abortion with hydropic placental changes. Placental lakes are also called as placental caverns or placental venous lakes or placental sonolucencies. We advised for regular follow-up in this case. Thank you all.